Do you not know what to get somebody for Christmas and or Hanukkah? Maybe try the neck reading light or the book light. Links are in the description below. They're so awesome. Okay, go watch the, the video now. Click the links in the description. Get it for Christmas. Okay, bye. <laughs> Dog and the Cat King Comic Club. Influencers by Dave Pilkey. Last time in the comic club. Hello, I am moving to a very cold place because I keep being bothered by these thought bubbles floating around my face. It makes me so sad. I'll miss you, little Petey. I'll miss you, crayons. And I'll even miss this fish. What are you talking about? We were supposed to be doing an interview about the comic club. Oh, yeah. Daddy, there's a big oomph. What's with all the oof? She said a bad word. She said dummy. Oh, well, don't say that. Dummy isn't a bad word, you dummy. What if we all called each other dummies at the same time? Then it washes out. You may not call each other names. So I can't call you a sniveling, wrinkly wiper of the diaper. Where the heck did you hear that one from? And no. All right, now tell me what happened. But if we tell you, we'll have to kill you. I'll tell the story. There I was high-fiving my stick arm with Melvin. These two were holding up Baby Frog Squad cereal, and I wanted some, and it made me sad. So I became the almighty Jesus Christ. Naomi, stop making stuff up. Oh, all right. Everyone was in a really silly mood. And then you came along with your big purple lips and started yelling at everybody with your scissor hands and- Why do you have to be so mean? It is my duty. Speaking of duty, these two came along. Hey, that's rude. Say that again, I'm gonna shove your face in duty. Let me tell you the real story. This dingle bell came running down the stairs, screaming her head off like usual. It made us so dizzy, we started crying. And then I came around the corner, once again skipping leg day. We're obviously getting nowhere fast. You come with me. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> you all have some serious issues, so I'm giving you a present. A book? Is it okay if I throw up in this book? No, throw up in this jar. I'd rather just have this tiny flavored balloon. Mmm, so delicious. Well, okay, if you don't want to read that book, I guess you don't want to become an influencer. Like Mr. Beast, or PewDiePie, or maybe even... I'm gonna be rich! Chapter 4, Secrets of the Craft Room. While the house is quiet, let's visit the craft room and check out the creativity. What are you drawing, Poppy? Two birds. What's your new comic called? Two birds. And uh, what is it about? Two birds. Oh, would you like to share it with our viewers? I can't. I'm not done. We, we are. are. Would you like to share your comic with the whole world? Okay. Me and Gilbert proudly present a fail miserably production featuring the Time Wasters in their latest parody, Frogzilla vs. Mecha Frogzilla by Gilbert and Curly. In our last adventure, Frogzilla came to life somehow and attacked the world. Aw, oh, weak dude. Felix and Jax, you must save the world. Oh man, no fair. Fortunately, I know just what to do. What? Run! But then, hey, I thought up of a plan. Let's hide in here. Boom! Whoosh! Hooray, we lost him! Boom! Now I just need my toolbox. Hawaii! We must build a giant robot! Okay, our robot will defeat Frogzilla! But it will take us two weeks to build! Bang, bang, bang! Hmm, then we can't waste any time! Six months later, pew 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 pew! Oh man, Squasha! That baby squirrel ripped my spine out again! My turn! We interrupt this program with breaking news! Frogzilla has just destroyed half of the world! A oh, harsh, we said at the same time. We must stop playing video games and finish building a robot! Bang bang bang! And no more time wasting! 
One year later, pew, 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 dum, 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 dum. We interrupt this program with a, hey, what are you guys doing? Frogzilla is still talking. Oops, we keep forgetting. But don't worry, Mecha Frogzilla is almost done. I just have to do one final thing. Hum, rip for you, make an eyebrow, yay. Mecha Frogzilla is go. But you're too late, Hawaii. Frogzilla already destroyed 26th, 27th of the world. Aw, oh, bummer, dude. But I have a plan. Go get our time machine. Okay. Sweet. Let's take Mecha Frogzilla back in time one and a half years. But he's too big. Not for long. Click. Sha, 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 sha. Sha, 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 shrink. I installed a shrinker in his big toe. Now we can take him back in time. Let's go, zap, whoosh. Now it's one and a half years ago, I know. Quick, put this robot in the closet while I write a note. Let's get out of here. Hey, I thought up a plan. Let's hide in here. Boom, zap, poof. Hooray, we lost him, boom. Now I just need my toolbox. Why? we must, hey, what's this? It's a robot! And a note! Step one, find robot in closet. Check! Step two, press robot's big toe. Check! Sha 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 Oh, crash! Ooh! Step three, make sure you take Mecha Frogzilla outside before you press his big toe. Hmm. That should have been step two! Meanwhile, rawr! Oh, hey! Do, 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 do. Well, dog man, we're trapped inside the belly of Frogzilla, along with a ton of random wreckage. I wish we could find something that could help us escape. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dog man, dig. Hmm, did you find anything? Dig, dig, dig. No, that's just a sock. Dig, dig, dig. Nope, that's only soap. Dig, dig, dig. What's that? Oh. <gasps> Living spray? Oh no! Oh, uh, th this is very dangerous. One sudden jolt, and this can could start spraying uncontrollably. Suddenly, jolt! Pew pew pew! Do you mind? We're trying to play a game. Don't miss the thrilling conclusion. Frogzilla versus Mecha Frogzilla 3D. That was awesome. It must be fun to be so creative. Yeah, I guess so, but not always. What do you mean? Well, sometimes it's not very fun. Yeah, sometimes it feels... Um... It makes your brain feel like this. Ah! Oh dear, I never knew. Tell us more secrets. Instead of telling you... It's better to show you. Come on. Mm. <laughs> well, here it is. This place is strong with the dark side. It's a domain of despair. What's up there? Don't ask me. You're the curious ones. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Something's not right up there. I feel cold. Let's turn back. No. This loft of evil must. Hey, it's just Billy and Elle and Deb and Frida. This isn't scary at all. I almost wet my pants. What's going on up here? Nothing. And that's the problem. Wait a minute. Aren't you the kids who are getting your comic published? Yay. Then why the sad faces? We have to design seven new characters. But we don't know how. And our deadline keeps getting closer and closer. If only there was somebody who could help us. Chapter 5. Naomi the Great. Hey, what are you reading? It's a very important book. It teaches you how to be an influencer. I want to be an influencer. Can I read it too? Nope. Ugh. How come? It's only for mature people, Melvin. Daddy said only I can read it because I'm the most maturest. Hmm. I'm mature too. No, you're not. 
Now go make me some NATO ice cream. No, make it yourself. Aw, oh, come on, man. No! Oh, Melvin! What? Come here a minute. Why? I got you a gift. You did? Yeah, but first, I wanted to say, I guess you're kind of mature. Told ya. So where's my gift? Right here. I'm going to let you read this when I'm done. Then you can be an influencer too. Sweet! <gasps> Soon the world shall kneel before me. <laughs> Gee, I sure wish I had some NATO ice cream. I'll make it for you. You will? Yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> hmm. And don't stir it up. I want to stir it. Okay. Three minutes later. Here you are. Thanks. <laughs> Did you learn any secrets hmm. from your book yet? Yeah. If you want somebody to follow your orders, just compliment them. Mm -mm. And give them a gift. Seriously? Who would be dumb enough to fall for that? Huh? I guess you're kind of mature. Hmm. I got you a gift. Hmm. I fell for that. Huh? Hey! <laughs> Chapter 6. That Night. Are you done reading that book? No. What are you doing? Making bookmarks. For who? Summer and Starla. Are they still mad at you? Yeah, yeah probably. But I'm an influencer now. I have powers. From now on, things are going to be different. How? Watch and learn, Bug Breath. Summer, Starla. What do you want? Um, I made you these bookmarks. I know you both like Japanese stuff, so I tried to write your names in Japanese. Daddy helped me write the haiku. Wow, these are cool. Thanks, Naomi. You're welcome. I'm sorry I got so stressed out today. What were you stressed out about? That comic book we're publishing. We have to design seven new characters, but we're all stuck. I wish we could design characters like the ones you draw all the time. If only we knew how. We could teach you. Really? Oh. Yeah, it'll be fun. We can teach everybody. Awesome, thanks you guys. How did you do that? You made them help you. You made them want to do it. You, you, you really do have powers. Told ya. <laughs> Naomi's influencing is becoming extreme. But is she influencing for the right reasons? Will this be able to put the comic club back in session? We'll just have to find out in the next episode of... Cat Kid Comic Club. Oh man, I wish I had a superpower of the influenza. Cat Kid Comic Club is copyrighted by Dave Pilkey and it's published by Graphics, an imprint of Scholastic Inc. Make sure you click the links down below. You can get the book and also the neck light and book light. Christmas is around the corner, just in time for gifts. Well, we'll see you next time. I gotta go, I'm super busy and my kids are driving me crazy. Okay, love you, bye.